all right what is up guys today I'm going to uh, show you how to overclock your GPU with MSI afterburner now I know I might have done a video about this in the past but today I'm gonna go a little more in depth um, since I got my new graphics card I've been overclocking it in small increments trying not to uh, let it overheat or anything like that so I figured that I should make a guide on uh, exactly how to do that so if you don't already have MSI Afterburner downloaded and installed uh, you should get it off the internet you can search it easily it's easy to find um, it's very easy to get you download it it's free um, so as you can see when you open up MSI Afterburner it will tell you uh, exactly what type of graphics card you have I have an AMD Radeon 7700 series excuse me and uh, it tells you all about it, your core, your core voltage, power limit, core clock, memory clock, and fan speed. Now you can adjust all these <coughs> depending on how fast you want your graphics card to run and how cool you want your graphics card to run. Now mine came pre-clocked at 800 megahertz, and I bumped it up to 825. So what's good about MSI Afterburner is you can bump up your core clock, which is what you use to overclock your GPU and then you can apply the settings and save it as a profile and then switch back and forth between different profiles so I'm going to demonstrate that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump it up to let's say 850 okay so it's on 850 I'm going to hit apply and then I'm going to hit save and I'm going to pick 2 and save it and so now I can switch back and forth between these profiles so say I didn't want my graphics card to run too hot um, I would switch to like profile one and hit apply and then save and then it'd drop it back down to 825 and same with uh, anything else you do so you can do this and make five different profiles for however you want your graphics card to run now I'm gonna bump it back down to 825 just so it'll run a little cooler and it's not super overclocked and you can do this with your graphics card now it's good to research your graphics card and find out uh, how much your graphics card can take when it comes to uh, overclocking and so once you find that out um, then you'll be safe to overclock but don't just hop in there and overclock from the get go now I'm going to close MSI Afterburner and reopen it and make sure my settings are saved um, but MSI Afterburner is a very useful tool, uh, tool for this type of thing it's very simple one click and you can uh, you can overclock it you can even adjust your fan speed and in fact I'll probably bump well I can't for some reason it's whatever but um well it's set on auto that's why so I'm gonna bump my fan speed up to 40 hit apply and then save it under profile one it's gonna start blinking again exit it to uh, complete my save so that's how you overclock your GPU with MSI Afterburner it's very easy very novice uh, anyone can do it uh, so go ahead and give it a shot. Just overclock in small increments. Check your graphics card. Make sure it's not overheating. Anything like that. And then uh, I hope this helped. So uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Later.